right, people, welcome back to some more card reviews. So I've been putting this card off for long enough. You can already tell by the title of what we're reviewing. We are looking at the true boss monster for Yusaku. We thought it was Deco Talker. It is not. It is actually this dragon right here. We're like, Deco Talker can't be the boss monster. It's not 2,500. But then all of a sudden we got another monster revealed, Firewall Dragon here. And it was 2500 like right, that's the boss monster so let's go ahead and look at this card so this is fire wall dragon it is a light cybers link effect monster with link markers at the left top right and bottom so very odd link markers indeed so if you put in the extra deck zone it just points down so i guess you're supposed to connect it to something that's already in the extra deck zone already a link monster in the extra deck zone and then it'll point left and right and then it'll open up two at least so yeah but the link markers are really really odd uh it is a link four link four that is a lot of material but his materials are two or more monsters so you need a minimum of two so uh you can go four monsters you can do a link three plus one monster or two link twos you know there's plenty of ways to do this and the fact that it's just generic is fine but four monsters pretty much four resources that is a lot so hopefully this guy is worth it because uh four is a lot 2500 attack as stated before and uh he has no defense because he is a link monster so let's go ahead and look at the effect so during either player's turn you could target monsters on the field and or in any graveyards up to the number of monsters in a mutual link uh, that, that, that's a that's a big one mutual link we have to kind of talk and discuss that uh, with this card, return them to the hand. All right, so mutual link, you're like, well, what does that mean? Because they really didn't explain it too much. You know, this card came out, it said mutual link, and we're like, what the hell does that mean? Well, a mutual link is when you have a link monsters, two link monsters that are linking to each other. You know, if I just have this monster and it's linked to a monster that's not pointing back at it, that's just a regular link. That's just a link. A mutual link is, let's say, for example, I have Deco Talker and this on the field and they're both pointing to each other, then that is a mutual link. So up to the monsters that are mutually linked with this card, you can return cards from the field or the graveyard back to their hand during either player's turn. That That's a pretty strong effect. It's just, not only did I use a crap ton of resources to summon this guy, but I also used a crap ton of monsters to make the other link monster that is mutually linked to this card, you know? And it only returns up to the number of monsters that are mutually linked with this card. So it seems like there can be a maximum of four, even though the link monsters are, markers are kind of odd, but it's nice that you can do that during either player's turn, so it's kind of like a nice little pseudo pleadies if you have the mutual links. And of course, targeting monsters in the graveyard uh, and adding them back to your hand. I mean, it's funny that it says in any graveyard, so it's like, yeah, let me go ahead and target your monsters in your graveyard and put them back into your hand. There's new situations where that might come up, but I don't want to give you resources. But on the other hand, targeting monsters in my graveyard and returning them back to my hand for resources for me that's pretty good pretty good but like i said this is just so much resources to pull this off it really is and just in case you think that oh that effect is so good i can't wait to use that during either player's turn over and over again this effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field yay so that means that you use the effect a grand total of once keep in mind you use four materials to make this guy and you can only use this effect once on the field now if you leave the field and come back then of course you can use the effect again but yeah just the fact that not only we're using four materials for this monster only being 2500 attack and only getting this effect once while it's on the field it's just kind of eh. but it has one more effect if a monster monsters link to this card is destroyed by battle or or sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one monster from your hand. So, uh, pretty much if if you lose something that's linked to it, then you get to go ahead and summon a monster back from your hand, which of course, hopefully use that effect to go ahead and have something mutual link, return the monster to your hand, then the monster is linked, we destroy it, and you special summon the monsters that you just grabbed back from the graveyard uh, back to the field. And that second effect is not, is not once per turn. So pretty much if a monster linked to this card is destroyed by battle or sent to grave, that, that whole or sent to the graveyard, that, that that's pretty interesting because, I mean, you can send things to a graveyard by synchro summoning or just link summoning and then uh, grab the resources back and special summon uh, 
you know, a monster from your hand. Uh, it's interesting that Special Summon the Monster from your hand is the same resource, hand to feel. But just the fact that you can uh, recur summon is actually pretty decent as well. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Firewall Dragon. So what is my final verdict? Yay or nay? Uh, right now, I'm, I mean, I'm going to have to say nay. I really am. Now, of course, when we have a new mechanic and new gimmick, we try to break the hell of it. So uh, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of ways that you're going to be able to just bust this out with, you know, a one or two card combo, have plenty of resources. But just the fact that I'm using four materials to summon this guy who can only bounce or return once. And I have to have something mutual link to even use that effect. And the second effect's not too great either. Keep in mind, four materials, four link four. Uh, I don't know. This doesn't seem worth it. Now, I'm really interested to seeing what Yusaki is going to do with this in the show because, I mean, just the fact that it relies on other things just makes it kind of, eh, you know? Like, as if I could only block a destruction card effect with Stardust if I had, like, a tuner monster on the field or something. Like, you need something else. Another Link monster that is mutually linked to this card to even use its effect, to even get any benefit out of it, you know? And... Uh, just the fact that unlike the other boss monsters where I, oh, Dark Magician, you know, I uh, tribute two monsters for Dark Magician. That's a Neg 1. You know, just saying generically summoning. Uh, Neo, same thing. Tribute two to summon Neo. Neg 1. Stardust. Generally, tuner, non-tuner, minimal resources, synchro summon to Stardust Dragon. Neg 1. Utopia. They exceed the two level fours. Neg 1. You know, and odd eyes which is the odd one you can either think of it as once again two two to summon odd eyes or set up your pendulum scales which is still sort of a pseudo neg because the cards in your resources to turn into pendulum scales which if let's say hypothetically speaking the pendulum scales don't do anything there's two cards out of your hand to then pendulum summon so let's say hypothetically neg one this guy is you use four materials to summon this one guy neg three so i, I don't know i don't know uh I, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of combos and chips and tricks, and he's going to be great, especially that second effect, but uh, I don't know. Right now, I need to see a little bit more. Uh, on paper, I'm going to give him a nay, but maybe in the future, maybe when links get stronger, maybe when we actually see it in a tournament setting, then I can say yay, but for right now, no. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about uh, Firewall Dragon here in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And of course, on Wednesday, I will be back with another crazy look at for card review. All right. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, bell for notifications, and see you guys next time. All right. Thanks for watching.